Developer Center is VMware's new website with the resources needed to design solutions for the software-defined data center. You can find it at developercenter.vmware.com. Let's look at the homepage. If you're new to VMware, the Handy Getting Started section will guide you to overview material and common tasks. If you're familiar with VMware development, you can jump very quickly to our most popular SDKs, find the latest developer news, or go to the Resources section and find useful resources such as forums and sample code. And VMware development partners have easy access to our programs and services. Developer Center features a responsive UI that automatically scales to work well on tablets and even smartphones for your convenience. Let's say you're a developer who wants to integrate VMware products into your data center, or who wants to deliver your own VMware-compatible product offering. You go to the SDKs page and you'll find the SDKs organized by categories, such as Management and Orchestration, Platform and Compute, Storage, and Networking and Security. But what if you don't know which API or SDK you want? Well, there are architectural guides that allow you to drill down through different layers of the VMware product stack and find the appropriate SDKs for a given layer and desired functionality. You'll find guides for cloud management, end-user computing, and every aspect of the software-defined data center, from virtualization through software-defined networking to software-defined storage. For example, this cloud management diagram shows the VMware products for cloud operations and cloud automation. Drill down, and you can see what each extension point can do for you. In the vCloud Suite guide, you can continue to drill down through the entire vCloud Suite stack right into the ESX kernel itself. Now that you know what you're looking for, let's go back to the SDK page and drill down on one of the SDKs. Here's the vSphere Management SDK. You can see an overview, the downloads, and documentation, including development guides and API references. And on the resources page, you'll find, well, useful resources. There are developer forums dedicated to the different SDKs and sample code to bootstrap your development. There are also UI design guidelines to help your application fit in well with VMware products. You'll find developer tools such as Workbench, our Eclipse-based integrated development environment, tools for automation engineers such as PowerCLI, and our VMware Hands-On Labs, a tremendous learning tool that you will want to check out. If you're a VMware partner or wish to become a partner, you'll find information on the Programs and Services page. You'll find VMware programs listed by category and you can click on them to find out more information. Here's where you'll find the resources you need to build and certify your solution to interoperate with VMware technology. You can click on the link right under the Programs and Services to find out more information on how to join a program. Once you've joined a program, you'll be given certain entitlements or access. You can use your credentials to log in and you get a personalized view of Developer Center. The first thing that you'll notice is that the page has been customized and tailored to show the resources that you have access to. You can see the programs that you are a member of as well as the associated SDKs and certification kits. When you join a program, depending on your development or certification needs, VMware will create a private project for you in Developer Center Partner Network, which is another private portal. For your convenience, Developer Center My Home provides a single pane of glass so that you can access content such as projects and cases without switching portals. You will also have access to additional resources such as private forums that are only visible and available for your program. Here you will note the little lock icon indicating that this is not a publicly available forum, for instance. The Projects tab will show your private projects that can be used for collaboration with VMware. You can share documents and even code repositories. The Cases tab will show your open cases. For example, a developer electing to use VMware Engineering Services can check on the status in the ongoing message thread in a request for technical assistance. On the Reports tab, I can see three reports available. Clicking on the Case by Status report, I see that there are no cases for the current month. I'll go ahead and customize the report to show me reports by priority for last year, by monthly periods. For a Cases by Priority report, I can see the number of cases for a given priority per month, and clicking on Table, I can see the details of all cases included in the report. When you've developed your product, you may want to certify it as VMware Ready, VMware's highest level of endorsement for solutions created by our partners. Let's go look at the certification kits. Certifications are a set of tests and procedures that validate the interoperability of your product with VMware technology. So let's look at one of those. 
Let's say your company builds a super fast fiber channel card. You would select the IO verification program certification and there you'll see the version of ESX you need. How to get the workbench tooling, different things about the test suite, and lots of documentation on how to set up and run the tests. Once you've successfully completed certification, you can be listed in the VMware Compatibility Guide. You can find a link to the guide at the bottom of the certifications page. The VMware Compatibility Guide is visited by millions of people per year and is a trusted resource for customers making purchasing decisions. This has been just a brief overview of the many things that you'll find on Developer Center. I highly recommend that you visit the site for yourself and take a look around. Developer Center is located at developercenter.vmware.com.